All right, guys, here we're gonna talk, we're gonna do a walkthrough on how to connect HubSpot with LinkedIn ads. HubSpot is a great CRM and a great marketing platform, and it's one, one of the best to use with LinkedIn ads because the nice part is that it has a native integration with LinkedIn ads, so it makes it very easy to set up, configure, and integrate, and you can ensure that all your leads that you're capturing from your LinkedIn ad campaigns are gonna make it into HubSpot smoothly. Uh, and then it has some other nice features such as automatically adding UTM parameters to all your URLs. Uh, UTMs are great for tracking link clicks so you can know where a visitor came from, what ad they clicked on, and what campaign they came from, but they can be tedious to uh, manage. Um, so HubSpot does all that for you. And then finally, as you're capturing leads, you wanna make sure you're following up with them properly, um, often starting with email and then maybe routing them to the right salesperson. So we'll, we'll do a walkthrough on how to set up workflows and do all that set up. Uh, so let's dive into a HubSpot account here and take a look. All right, so now I'm in a, a demo HubSpot instance that I set up. So you'll kind of see the getting started page here. If yours is already set up, uh, then you might already see your contacts. But wherever you are, come up here to the top right and click on the settings button. That'll take you into the settings page. And then you can scroll down a little bit to this marketing and then ads link. Click on that. And then if you've never connected any of your accounts, you'll see this kind of getting started uh, page here. If you've already connected maybe other accounts or already maybe already have your LinkedIn account connected, you might see that show up here. This is where you can come to check. But if you've never connected an account, then click on this connect account button. It's gonna jump you into the dialog. Uh, it might ask you to log in with LinkedIn. So first is we're just gonna click LinkedIn here. And then it's popping up this dialog over here asking me to link to log in. So I'm gonna click sign in here to my LinkedIn account. And then first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna pop up and show you all your available accounts, all your available LinkedIn ad accounts that you can connect to HubSpot. So you might only have one for your only ad account here, um, or you might have several. So I'm gonna go in to find our Speedwork one. There we go, click on that. And then you can see auto tracking is enabled. Uh, this is where it's gonna allow HubSpot to add those tracking parameters to your links. Um, generally, you do wanna do that. It won't overwrite any UTMs you're currently using. It'll generally just add HubSpot's UTMs on top of that so that it can associate in HubSpot um, what those values are gonna be. Click connect. And then it's gonna take it back here. One account connected, good. I'm gonna click next. And then this is where it'll, you can set up lead syncing. So by default, uh, it's gonna show you how many contacts you can sync. I've got a few demo ones in here. So I can sync either all leads uh, and, let, and LinkedIn will let me pull from the last 90 days or we can say just all, only new leads going forward. Generally, you wanna sync all your leads so that they're in your CRM and save there. Uh, one thing to note is that LinkedIn will only save leads in inside of LinkedIn for 90 days. After that point, they um, get archived and you can't access them. So it's important to make sure you get them out of LinkedIn in time. Um, so there we go, click on that so it'll sync them and then I'll click next. And then next is setting up your pixel. So if you're using HubSpot for any landing pages, it's nice to make sure that HubSpot can automatically include your LinkedIn Insight tag on those pages so that you can set up all the tracking and the traffic and those codes for you and you don't need to manually do that. So you can select your pixel there. If you're not using LinkedIn's um, or HubSpot's landing pages or websites, this might not matter as much, but uh, it's useful to set it up anyways. So then once I have those all selected, I'll click go to ads dashboard, and then it'll drop me in. It'll start syncing some of my campaigns down here so I can see some of this data coming in, um, and that means it's connected. Um, so next is, now that we have it connected, uh, as you're capturing leads from your campaigns, you wanna make sure that those leads are gonna make it into the right workflows. So we'll talk about that in a second. Um, first is how we can test out to make sure that leads are coming through and then what that will look like when they come through. So if I come over here to contacts, um, I just have some demo ones in here so far, maybe some that have been um, synced so far. So I have some dummy email addresses in here. But what you can do to test this is jumping over to your LinkedIn ads account. If you open up an ad that has a lead form on it, you can click on that and then it'll open up the ad here. And then when you're viewing your ad, you can then click it, click it. So from this page, you can just click on the ad and it'll open up a new page with your ad. And then you can click on the ad to open it up. And then this is the lead form experience. So I can submit a test lead here and then it'll send through a test lead uh, into HubSpot and I can make sure that it's gonna come in there appropriately. So maybe I just wanna do a test, you know, test swipe one and I'll hit submit. Uh, and the way to check that test leads are getting submit correctly, um, if I'm looking at my lead forms, um, I can see over here test leads. 
test leads are ones that I submit through that, through how I just showed you. Normal leads are gonna show up in the normal leads column, but test leads will show up here. One note is that if you've connected your lead form to a message ad, uh, test leads will not propagate. Test leads will only propagate to the other forms of your lead form, which is your sponsored content ads. But if you've connected to a message ad, then it actually will not propagate. So if you wanna test it out, test it out, test out that lead form. If you're gonna use it in message ad, test it out on a sponsored contact one first, so you can push that through to HubSpot, uh, make sure that contact makes it through, and then you can set up your workflows based on that lead ad name, and then you can connect it to a message ad after that. So that's how you submit a test lead. Now if I jump back over here, I'll do a refresh. Boom, you can see we're up to seven records now and that one that I just submitted is there. If I wanna click on this and check it out, I can see some information here. Uh, it, HubSpot will show me where this, where this lead came from, what did they click on, what form did they submit, and if I wanna hit view all properties, I can, I can come down and see what, um, it'll show me where they converted and it'll show me the the name of the lead form in the ad. So this is useful if you're setting up workflows because I wanna make sure that my workflows are gonna match up from whatever form that my lead submits. I wanna make sure that they receive certain follow-up emails based on the form they submit. So if they submit a case study form, I wanna make sure they're getting the case study email. If they're submitting a checklist form, I wanna make sure they're getting a checklist email just so it matches up. So the way to set up those follow-ups is jumping over here to workflows. So in the top here is the workflows button. Um, this does require an upgraded version of HubSpot. Um, it's really valuable to be able to automate that follow-up with your leads. So it is an important feature to have, but it is an upgrade uh, on HubSpot. So you click on workflows and jump you over here. We can see a couple of test ones that we've set up already. Um, and there's kind of a basic version is you know, when somebody opts in and signs up to download something or whatever your form is, when somebody opts in, usually you wanna send them an automated email right away to confirm that they signed up for something, give them a link back to what it is they signed up for. Um, some people will just click through right there on the form and go to that next step, but it's also nice to have a link to come back to later. Maybe they signed up on their phone and then maybe they'll be, you know, be at home or on a desktop later and then they can spend more time sitting down reviewing your information. So the basic view is setting up kind of like this. So this is kind of a basic workflow where I wanna trigger based on a form submission of my lead ad um, and HubSpot is gonna pull in the LinkedIn lead forms and then it's gonna prepend this lead ad portion here. So if you're working with a LinkedIn ads team, um, make sure you get the name of what that form is gonna be and then know that HubSpot is gonna prepend that lead ad to that form name. Uh, but anyways, you can set up a trigger so it'll trigger on that form submission so leads that get pushed in from LinkedIn can trigger this flow. And then very, you know, very basic flow is that I want to send a follow-up email automatically upon that submission. And then this, this email would include like, hey, you downloaded your case study, here's a link to access it. And then you might have more information about your company or what the next step that people usually take are. If you wanna set up an advanced workflow, there's a lot of things that HubSpot can do. Um, and if you have your sales team in there or other, um, other colleagues in there, uh, there's different things you can do with these contacts coming in. So you might set the life cycle stage to lead, depending on what your pipeline looks like inside of HubSpot, if you've set up those different pipelines and life cycle stages. I can set up my lead status, attempting to contact, and then I can set up an email follow-up sequence. So you know they get the first email right away, and then maybe we wait a day or or a couple days and then send them a follow-up email and then you have your kind of nurture sequence here automatically as well. So this is nice to be able to just set up this workflow so that all the leads that you're capturing are gonna be automatically routed properly and then followed up with properly as well. Um, so that is kind of how you set up HubSpot, how you send test leads through. Um, so it's a great CRM to use and it's really nice how it sets up that automatic native integration so you can just connect it and then it's good, and then HubSpot's gonna do all the pulling of your LinkedIn leads, pushing them into HubSpot and then tagging them with a lot of data here so that you can know where did this contact come from, what ad do they click on, uh, what form do they submit so that you can trace that back or, or your salespeople can trace that back when they're having a meeting with this contact coming up. They can know exactly where that contact came from uh, and go from there. So that's how you set up HubSpot. Uh, let us know if you have any questions.